Hello to all my beautiful subscribers. Uh, I'm back here with a new video. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short, hopefully short, unscripted, uh, kind of rambly video where I just uh, talk about the Criterions that I bought in the latest sale. They had a kind of a pop up 30% off thing going on, and I can't resist a Criterion sale. You know me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, excited to do this. I wanted to do one for my last one, uh, but uh, I didn't really go that well, and I didn't really like how it turned out, and the footage was all corrupted, so I didn't get that one out. But if you do like this one, let me know. I can reshoot that. I got a lot more stuff on the 50% off sale. Uh, some really interesting stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, yeah, and also stay tuned I got two huge video projects coming soon and then another one scheduled for way later which is gonna be awesome uh, this summer the Bergman the Bergman ranking I've recently watched every single Bergman film well not every single one but every single one in the Criterion set so about 40 of his films and I'm gonna talk about each one and do a little ranking uh, and then another video where I talk about 60s albums. I'm going to do 100 albums uh, from the 60s, and it's going to be super awesome and long. And yeah, so let's just get into the video. Uh, yeah, so let's start off. I got, th uh, I got three blind buys this time. I usually don't. I usually like to keep it like 70 to 90% already watched, but... I don't know, this time I was feeling uh, some blind buys. So uh, I'll start with the one I've seen. And this is going to be Daisy's. Uh, Czech New Wave film. Uh, oops, uh, from Vera Chitlova. Uh, and yeah, this film is very unique, very initially a little bit challenging but super creative and yeah um two performances uh were brilliant the use of color uh and just the overall subversive message of the film too just this kind of uh hedonistic uh attitude that kind of flies in the face of general moral values uh, I don't know what I'm really saying but yeah it's kind of a denial of uh, conforming to society I know that sounds so stupid but yeah so two girls and they just kinda do whatever the fuck they want fuck over some old guys super it's funny but also it's funny in like a crazy way. It's like uh, you're kind of unsure what's going on, and it's very uh, not confusing, but uh, you're like, what is going on? You know, it's like, uh, yeah, but I really like it. Um, yeah, and it got me. Ooh, does it come with a poster? I think it comes with a poster. Oh, uh, not this. Oh no, it's just the booklet, but it is very nice. Um, it's uh the whole the movie in general and the aesthetic of it, it kind of reminds me of those like, reb like those girls rebel magazines like those punky like zine type things from like, I don't know if it was the eighties or the nineties, but uh, I forget ah, there was one like really popular one. It was like girl with G R L. Uh, and it was like Rebel Girl or something like that. And it, it really reminds me of that aesthetic. Um, and yeah, I really think it's a great film. And oh, look at the disc, bro. I'm sorry the glare is so bad, but oh my goodness. Oh, I, I'm really happy with this. Super glad I picked it up. Uh, and yes, watching this. And yeah, what I was going to say, watching this film... Maybe want to check out other Czech films because it was so good, and that's why I picked up 
Marketa Lazarova from Frantisek Vlasil. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but yeah, this, um, I know, this is a blind buy too, but I know I'm going to like it. It's There's no chance in the world I don't like this. Just from the stills and the themes that I know of. It's the reason, main reason I chose this one from the collection is because it reminds me of Andre Rublev in aesthetics, uh, which, if you didn't know, is my favorite movie of all time. And so I'm very excited to check this out. Uh, we'll probably see this in the coming weeks. Uh, but yeah, I am super, super happy to get this one. I didn't even know Criterion released this. I was going to watch it on uh, the, the channel, but I'm glad I got it in. Ooh, I got a little chip on the corner. Oof. But yeah, uh, let's open it up. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. The booklet is so, is very thick. Wow. Look. Holy shit. This thing is like a whole book. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. This thing is massive. Holy shit. But yeah. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Dude. Black and white Slavic films just get my, I don't want to be crash, but you, you know what's going on. Oh, beautiful. Next, Haksan. I believe it's 1922. Yeah, I was right. Uh, from, who was it? Benjamin Christensen. Uh, this is a Danish film. It is silent. Uh, it is about, I guess, it's about a lot of occult, occultish things, witches, demons, stuff like that. And I'm surprised this wasn't, um, this was even made. I thought, um, I guess I could be wrong, but I thought stuff like this was kind of taboo, maybe not in Europe so much. Um, but yeah, I guess... But I, I'm super glad this was made. Uh, it's very unique. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've seen a lot of clips. I've been interested in this film. Since I got into Criterion, I've still never seen it. So that was like five, six years ago. Uh, maybe less than that. But um, quite a while ago. And yeah, I've, I've always been super interested in this film. Oh my god, the glare is so bad. I'm sorry, guys. Um... But yeah, I've always been interested in this film for its themes and just the fact that it was made back then. And I think it's so cool, the aesthetics of it. Um, yeah, and super creepy from what I, I've seen. Some of the scenes, the witch, kind of the uh, Sabbath scene. Oh my goodness, it's it's super creepy. Um, so yeah, really excited to see this. Yeah, it's just... I've wanted to buy it for so long, but I it's just never been at the top of my priority list. And I finally just uh, pulled the trigger on it. Super happy to have this. I've wanted it forever. Uh, let's see what's on sale. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is so sick. Oh my god. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. I know I get so like... I get so cringe about it, but it's so awesome. Oh my god. Let's see what's inside. Oh my god. Can't show that on camera. But, um, yeah, this is... Oh, I'm so happy. I love my hair. <laughs> okay. And then the last one is going to be Oh Hazard Balthazar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My French. Uh, I used to speak uh, French for any uh, people watching this that uh... never mind. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, um, "O Hazard Bathazel" uh, by Robert Brisson, um, considered by many to be one of the best films of all time, one of the most influential films of all time in his style, his objective, 
kind of, uh, I've heard it described as formalist style, where he's just like, films it as it is, no sentimentality. It's kind of like, um, uh, I mean, I, I feel like I've been talking about Cormac McCarthy so often, but it's like Cormac McCarthy where it's just like, just stated as a fact. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that's very compelling. I also bought it because this film and Robert Bresson, uh, in general, uh, influenced some of my favorite filmmakers of all time. I know, I'm pretty sure that Jen, uh, Tarkovsky, and I know Haneke, and uh, someone told me Bellatar were very much influenced by uh, Robert Bresson, uh, even obsessed with the man. Uh, so I'm very excited to check this out. I saw Pickpocket already, uh, and I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really connect with it. I wanted to, well, it's hard to say that. It was in a setting where I couldn't really fully immerse myself in the film. I watched it in a class at college, and so the environment wasn't really ideal, but just the, I didn't really like, um, ah. Uh, the style, the acting, it, 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 it was a hard, it was hard for me to adjust to his style. And I'm going to try very hard because I think Bresson is a very important filmmaker for anybody getting into film. Uh, and that's me personally. I, <clears throat> I think it's my duty to try and understand it better and not just write it off. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for this, considered to be his masterpiece, so I'm sure I will at least find something, uh, I love about this film. I mean, just that shot is amazing, like, come on. Uh, but yeah, let's open it up. This is kind of an old release, so it's not that flashy, but still some great, I'm sure some great stuff in here. Oh my god, it's so cool. Uh, oh, it's a pullout. Okay, not many stills on here, but yeah, you can see that, it's, yeah, so yeah, uh, very excited to watch that, I was actually planning on watching that tonight, after this video is done, um, but yeah, uh, wow, uh, I want to keep talking, I want to keep talking, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just make my other haul video, just, even if nobody comments, what if I did that? How crazy would that be? Because I just, I'm really in the, I'm really in the mood to just talk about Criterion's, bro. Man. Oh, wow. God. Ah, well, hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, maybe some uh, film recommendations <laughs> um, to watch. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll see you in the next one when, the next one will probably be either a new haul video if I decide to do it or my big project that I've been working on uh, yeah hopefully that'll come out in the next few months uh, it's gonna take a while but it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna be super satisfying when it comes out and I can't wait for that so yeah uh, thank you for this and goodbye